Hello there everyone and thank you for joining me here to start a new campaign in Old World Blues. Well, at the time of this recording, uh, it's not technically early access version of this mod, but it's Old World Blues 5.0, Ashes to Embers, in which we're playing as a Northern Khans, and we're led by Amgalan. Uh, we'll read about Amgalan later on, but I left my heart in California. We once lived in the vast deserts of the West. For many of us, our hearts and minds still rest with the wasteland heat. Now we yearn for that same warmth in the mountains of Wyoming, followed up with home on the frontier. Uh, despite all the odds, despite the horrors that had been thrown away, we had made it across the wasteland into a land of salvation, bountiful and plenty in riches. In its riches. Our future was to be here, of this, not a soul did doubt. But parting the ways, our history is one of dark deeds, often rewarded with near extinction, though a few of us chose to recognize it. In California, our people nearly met their end twice at the heads of those who now rule the West. There, are Those who survived our second defeat were scattered to the winds, and only the actions of two men stopped the new cons from dissolving into nothing in the following days. One such man became known as Papa Khan, who gathered the bulk of the survivors, giving them new strength and remaking them into the Great Khans. They traveled east into Nevada, until they settled in the Mojave Wasteland and established themselves as a tri mighty tribe once more. The other man was named Am Amgalan, oh, that was a woman, uh, he has gathered both survivors and hopefuls, trying to hold them to, uh, both together. This group was much smaller, and they were aided by a group known as the Followers of the Apocalypse, given food, water, and medical attention by these outsiders. Amgalan felt obliged to return the favor in some way, so when the Followers planned an expedition far to the northwest, he and his splintered group of Khans walked with them on the road. They still called themselves the New Khans, and they looked southward, towards their ever more distant kin with rebellion in their hearts. Still a difference. A regretful longing. Honestly, I have no idea. So we have three routes we can choose. We can choose uh, settling down, the old ways, or the new conate. So it looks like following the future. We'll be known as free cons if we go down this way. Um, is this settling down? So intermediate support tech. Really a large focus on support equipment and whatnot. Sophisticated explorers. Um, yeah. I'm not entirely sure on yielding hero. And then there's a center route with the Great Khan, um, with Regis, which I kind of want to go with Regis, but we'll see what happens. And return our sky eyes skyward, Amgalan, I think it was, it was a fool, huh? The True Khans. Um, settling down. A Khanate reborn, the vessel of war. This one, this person wants to go to war uh, like crazy, which I'm not necessarily against. However, I do want to focus on, no matter what we do, uh, being a aggressive-ish, at least a little aggressive, and then um, using motorized, or even horses, because we do get the option at some point to do horses, so um, in the meantime, rebellion of their hearts, stoic indifference. Uh, well, I'll go with that one, because that's 150 political power, and that's kind of an insane amount to get. Uh, asymmetric warfare versus land doctrine, and then armor supply, which is kind of cool, actually. Enforcer technology research speed, daily arm XP, hardness of breakthrough would not be bad. We gotta start working on some of the stuff here too, but I do like political power to begin. If we do have that. Experience diplomat, tribal elder, it's not much. Recruitable population factor by 5%. It's really not much. And we might get rid of them later on, but actually, you know what? Screw it. We're gonna go with Golden Gecko. That always gives us a good little amount of political power to start with. And uh, we have these guys here, so we're gonna get that city. And then we're gonna go with basic hygiene because, well, we need that. We pretty much need that, so. A new con indeed. The road that the new cons and followers walked was long and winding, passing through many strange and dangerous lands. They journeyed under the suspicious and watchful glares of rangers, through the territories of those who walked on tar, into the settlements of those who spoke for the gods of the heaven above and the steam below. Where the followers were not welcome, Amgalan and his companions would step in to intimidate or even fight them out of danger. The two groups became friendly enough along the way, but it was Amgalan himself who would begin to pay close attention to the words and deeds of the followers. While the rest of his clan drank and or brawled in the night, Amgalan would speak with the followers and read the collection of books and holotapes they carried. He began to question whether it was the land or the Khans that needed a change. It was a slow and quiet change within him, but as the expedition reached the far off lands that had once been Wyoming and Montana in the days before the bombs, Amgalan was a changed man. Those around him noted the change as well, though the rest of the new Khans were less convinced by the words of peace and healing, and continued much as they did before. Before the end of the expedition, they gathered an arsenal of weaponry, recruit from many tribes. Uh, actually, which way does our skies turn upward? True cons. Secrets of weapons craft. A new conate. Old ways versus settling down. So this one is what? Huh. Hey, that's a new conate one. Our eyes turn skyward. 
Oh, this guy's the old wage. So maybe we want the new colony, maybe. Okay, arsenal weaponry. Uh, we need the manpower. We'll go with that one anyways. The last sun gazer. They call her a sun gazer, a tribe that was once native to this area, displaced or destroyed by a Brahmin baron. It seems some things you just can't run away from, after all. Sailing the workhorse, actually that's really good. We actually have sailing the workhorse, huh? New homes and new families. It was in these sprawling and healthier lands that the followers began to build themselves an outpost, one from which they could reach out to the surrounding tribes and townships when they stopped. We did as well, putting down new roots and making a home for ourselves. The ground upon which we stand now has been loosely settled by scattered ranchers and tribals, or tribes who either moved south or joined us on or upon our arrival. Since those first days, we've dis dispersed across the flats, and prairies and a small groups to hunt and take what we need. Although Amgulan still stands as our leader, his authority is only loosely acknowledged, so, e so each family of Khans largely does as they see fit. One of the tribes pushed southward by our rival was known as the Sun Gazers. They left without making a fuss, taking their herds towards the Eyrie of the Baron. The eyes were still skyward when Bailey decided the herds and fields would uh, see better use under his own watch. The poor guys didn't stand a chance and were wiped out. One uh, daughter of the tribe journeyed to us, a blood-soaked and grim-faced woman named Essen, uh, looking for a new home. A new recruit would not normally be very noteworthy, but Amgalan immediately took an interest in her, calling the woman a uh, wildfire in waiting, a true kind of heart, a wolf without a pack. Um, well, we've already employed Essen here. We already max. We got a lot of attack, and we're pretty good on things here too. So more attack. We like attacking. So the north-south caravans, monthly population, consumer goods, peace. I, I want to go to war as fast as possible. That's what I want. Uh, blood on the border. Our ancestors' ways. Remember the good old days. Versus cooperate with the followers. Settling down will increase. Remove routed cons. Where the weapons come from. Chem trade. Old ways. Or lessons of Dar Darion. Enemies of the NCR. Huh. Pilgrimage. His name was Papa Khan. Which words? White Rabbit War. Well, we don't have a lot of things here we can really choose from right now. Um, so we're going to go with the Lone of the Mountains. We're far from settled in the region at this stage. Many of us have never felt such cold, a blessing and a curse. It won't stay that way forever, though. Already we're making contacts to get more supplies up in the level, and the occasional settler, too. Cool. Beats up on the steps. Casper. Because we get motorcycles here, which I kind of like. Civvies. Oh, the final breath. Per a long rooted tradition, when the sun rose in the dawn, the sun gazers stepped out of their tents. Those on patrol lowered their arms, and everyone paid respect as a guiding light rose uh, from its slumber. Midday would call their attention, uh, an hour of prayers with eyes scowling bound. When dusk settled, everyone bowed their heads, wishing the great sun goodbye as it left them for the night. For a large portion of their life, Essen only knew the sun. She was born under its loving embrace. She worked tirelessly to impress when it uh, surveyed her people during the day and under cold nights. It would watch the stars and servants of the sun as she waited for its return. But when passing faces slowly dwindled to blurred features, when her own hands became too hard to recognize, she began to wonder if she'd wronged it, her people, or anyone for that matter. The aftermath with the Baron had proved her suspicions. She managed to survive a grenade blast by positioning. Her taller sun gazer stood in front of her, taking the burn of the shrapnel. And when Essen had finally mustered her strength, both of the will and mind to crawl out from the bodies and rubble that toppled her, she was alone. She was the last. Slick and warm blood and suit, the sun was unbearable and sweltering. It welcomed her with no love this time. Weakness, Essen felt it below, or be below, and she understood. This was a price the sun gazers had paid for weakness. Essen musters a troop. Well, I like moving to, into Ralston, because you get some free, free civvy. Ralston's people are peaceful, enough so that they tolerate even those brutal cons. We should use and make the most of this opportunity and seek developments in the town. There's nothing else we can do here, because I want to go to war, but whatever. The Baron's daughter. The Battle of Mitizzi. Locals claim that much of Mitizzi was torn apart in the great skirmish between men, strange men of the woods and local group of super mutants. Perhaps we could benefit, either from earning their trust or simply helping ourselves in repairing the local infrastructure. The White Rabbit's War. Oh. A war is broken out on our borders. Well, this time it has little to do with us. In the hills to the west of our territories. Two small factions have begun skirmishing in earnest. On one side stands a clan of hulking super mutants, the likes of which we recognize from our days in the far-flung California. They are recent arrivals much like us, but have kept to themselves far so far. 
On the other are the men of the woods. The strange folk who have been here long before us. They worship a white horned rabbit and have been hostile to our scouts and settlers in the past. Oh god, that's not good for us. We're unsure of what has sparked this conflict, but already the fighting's been spreading towards our holdings, and several hunting parties have been caught in this crossfire. As long as this goes on, we'll have no place in the peace in the West. I'm gonna go out and sat down with some of those most trusted people to make a plan on how to approach the issue, and it'll be the best if we make one soon. So much for peace and quiet. Yeah, so we have rowdy cons. Even, the, um, even with Amgalant's best efforts, the cons remain cons. They aren't about to change their ways, even if their new home seems quiet and pretty. It's going to take some time to settle them, but whether or not they'll be set on Amgalant's terms remains, well, to be seen. Oh. Support for the old ways. Lend our large brothers a hand. Remove White Rabbit War. Giant's gratitude settling down. Mogul will become an advisor. Approaching the woods. <clears throat> Giant Killer Cons. Lands of Giants No More. Well, who's Mogul? Oh, a follower born. Paul Jarvis. Oh, Ancient Tactician. Eh, it's not great. It's not bad. I guess approach the woods, because I guess we're going to go with new cons, maybe? It's become increasingly difficult to ignore the fighting in our hinterlands, with the hunters and trappers often getting caught in the crossfire. Essence put forth a plan to put things to an end by courting the favor of the cult's leader. Maybe strange and off-putting, but she believes they can be of use. Meeting in the woods, huh? We've got Let the Ranger Lead the Way. Jay did the, their utmost best to get us and the followers safe of the cross continent. They may be a ranger, but they're as much of a friend to any others here. And a con, too, though they aren't keen on being called one. Old dogs die hard. More arrivals to come. Not everyone was with Amgalon when they made it to Wyoming. Some split it off or followed by word of mouth. No doubt we're going to keep seeing stragglers and faces who a thought lost for weeks to come. A raid too far. There's been a raid in the night. News traveled fast and Amgalon with Essen riding behind has raced out to inspect the dam, driving before sunset. A small set of cons, standing of cons, near to the Big Horner lands, had been attacked. Not just attacked, but butchered. The tents had been burned, and the stores stolen, and the people had fared even worse. Most seemed to have had their throats cut in the middle of the night, and the bodies posed in several various positions as if it was a joke. Several had been dismembered, and at least one con's head was nowhere to be found. Numerous empty booze bottles had been left scattered around the one intact tent. On its side was painted the logo of the saints, a gang from the other side of the woodlands. Amgalan was cold, not showing his fury or disgust, while Essen was the picture of their barely contained rage as she paced around the ruin. Both knew something would need to be done and that the rest of the cons would already be looking for vengeance with or without them. Both had very different thoughts on what to do next, however. The saints will pay. Meet, meeting in the woods, Essen marched into the cult leader's grove, where a bonfire burned bright enough for even her to see clearly by. She was alone at the rabbit worship's insistence, and kept a hand near her axe in case things took a, warm, a turn for the worst. They wouldn't take her down without a fight. From the shadows he came, the smell of blood, hide, and wild mushrooms preceding him. Skewer the raved, approached her until he was uncomfortably close, swaddled in pelts, and with a rack of antlers, strapped to his back. Sun Khan wants to be friend, does she? Help us take back the holy hills from the giants? Being referred to as a Sun Khan took her by surprise. She had no idea the cult knew anything about her history as a sun gazer. She forced it from her mind, however, and said, thinking back to how many of the rabbit men she'd passed on the way to this meeting. It was many more than the cons had estimated, which was concerning, but at least it was validated to push to try and make allies of them. Finally, she responded, as long as the people of the Rev will be friends to us in return. Narrowed eyes over cheerless blacked, uh, a black-toothed smile was the response, followed by maybe, maybe. We have no weak friends or liar friends. You must prove your true strength. Challenge accepted. So I guess we're going to jump over here now. Holding back the storm. Amgalan's trial. Reparations from Ruminators. Amgalan will go to the Ruminators to try and sort things out peacefully. Uh, seeking reparation for the saints is crime. Settling down will increase. Essen musters a troop. Amgalan is counsel for cooler heads and patience, but ins insults like these are too grave to be ignored. Essen shall storm into the Ruminators' land or demand retribution. The saints will reap what they have sown. We'll muster a group. Two outriders against Amgalan's wall, spawning two new units in the warlord land, and she goes to deal with the saints personally. Veteran Pathfinders. Uh, we need more put. We need more manpower. Um, for a scrap crusher. You know, upkeep. Oh, this is pretty good too over here. Uh, we need more manpower though. Chief of the army. Aggressively simple. If you have extended words to share about Essen, as she is a relatively new member of the cons herself, she's made a steadfast reputation on Amgalan's side, expressing disinterest in what she perceives as stagnation in favor of a conquest befitting of the Khanate. Breakthrough in speed is very nice. 
I think it's better just if I roll those times. Hmm. A woke up drum would also be very nice to do too. Do we need any water? No, we're good on water. Research speed, support equipment. Support equipment we, uh, we're we doing okay on. Um, hmm. I don't want to choose anyone here. This seems really nice, but we don't have to have this, you know? Because we will arrive in Wyoming eventually, but it's not possible with research speed. Not really. So I don't know if we're going to go asymmetric, because asymmetric is fun. Don't get me wrong, it is fun. But I want to use motorized, so mechanized warfare might be the way we want to go. And we don't really have a lot of locals. And this is my first time playing this campaign, so we're just going to go ahead and choose on land auction research speed for now, and uh, see what happens. Blood. Oh, hello. Oh, yeah, yeah, we low man party. Yeah, we get it. But. Baron's Irie, huh? Violence is only intensified in the Big Horner Woods, as small bands of saints clash with con warriors. They cannot match us to face us face to face, but there's honor us as crafty as raiders couldn't be. Uh, we want to quick end of this. We need to commit a more decisive strike. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, so this is some research done. Boop, 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 boop. Mm, you know what? Let's, let's, let's save real quick because I might make a mistake here, but I'm going to start going down uh, conventional warfare as, like I said, I want motorized. And of course, ancient tactics are also very good too. And eventually the saints back down. Essence returned, bloody but triumphant, having discovered the saints hide out in the woodlands. Uh, she's personally stormed the palace and put anyone uh, she found there uh, put to the knife. Archie's goons have retreated back to the country clubhouse with the tails between their legs and left us with a welcome pile of spoils. It'll do. You're very attacky. Group size, reinforce rate. Give us one more head. There you go. Flexible. Nice. Well, what did you expect? Because what are these? These guys are 16 combo, with, and they've camped, which is actually not bad. I remember playing with Baron's Irie, and I basically had to use consequence for this type of campaign. It's very diff difficult to play as uh, Baron's Irie. And then, of course, we get some help too, which is nice, but don't get me wrong. Against the entry program, that'd be good. Let's see, woods, good. Better manuals. Uh, Essence Outriders, that's not as good, but it'll have to be what it'll have to be for now. Yeah, fighting the militia is not too difficult. Well, this is really good for XP. I like it. I like it a lot. More equipment would be very good. Simulu. Find their militia. Find their militia and beat the crap out of them, basically. Ah, eh, darn. No exploration. Saint of blood. Aston and Warbin has struck out further and further into the big corner woodlands, seeking the saints. All against the Amgalons, urging for cooler heads. Some she'd had to bury, killed by booby traps who were in ambushes. The saints had proved reluctant to face them in an honest battle. The campaign had left her increasingly frustrated and irritable, and more than one tree had suffered as she let out steam. Now, though, Essen had finally found the hide on the wilderness, thanks to information squeezed up by an unfortunate captive. Remember what they had suffered at the hands of the saint scum, Essen and her warriors waited for the cover of night, until most of the saints were passed out drunk or high. After midnight, they stormed the old hunting lodge, Essen booting in the doors and leading the way room to room. They met little resistance, and the raiders that they met uh, being ill-equipped to fight back, and it was a slaughter rather than a battle. She was a ghastly sight. She was a ghastly sight as she left, covered in blood, and lit the place on fire as she went. The saints did not return, and he left in the woodlands quickly are quietly retreating back to the fellows at the country club. They got off easy. That's not ideal. There's 
We can't pierce through that, which sucks. But you guys can come down here, though, and do this. Because there's nothing they can do. Hopefully, at the very least. I hope we don't get circled. That would suck. Oh, are they moving in there too? Well, okay. Uh, we won. Oh, it's probably because these guys did stuff here. That would make sense. And welcome back to the uh, bigger cons, the bigger northern cons. But we got peace upon the steps. The barons had been dealt with, and his people now answer to us. Their future is now in our hands, too. Uh, proclamation authority would be nice. Amgalon, Amgalon among the ashes. Still bef before the still burning ashes of the Baron August's men were stood Amgalon, the warmth in their war, keeping the nightly frost from his skin. Although his silence would imply such a thing, the clicking and crackling of the embers brought him no peace. Uh, the cons had traveled thousands of miles in search of Wyoming. A paradise land was supposed to tell tale spuns, tall tale spun by the followers. Amgalon was the one who shepherded his people from Papa Khan and brought them here, though it was beautiful. And the land itself so rich in spite of nuclear calamity, this was the opposite of what he had hoped for. <clears throat> the Baron was a monster, this he could not dispute. Those under his boot made it clear enough that such a thing was inevitable, but it was still Amgalon who allowed more Khans to die. The land may be safe now, but it shouldn't have been secured through these means. It was the exact thing he hoped it would take to take the, away from them. And yet now the children who were born along the way now knew of a sort of bloodship firsthand. For a moment, he wondered if perhaps they had been too greedy, that maybe they took too much, thus took up the, shook up the land and inspired war and murder in the hearts of the people. Uh, but ultimately, Amgalon settled on one conclusion. The wasteland would never truly be war-free. The Baron shall not rob us of an innocent future. Perhaps the old way shall become the new ways again. The wasteland will never truly be war-free. Let's go with that route. Henry's money. Another core? I like the core. Matters of a new state. The Baron's leftovers aren't going to go easy when we make our next move calculated. But the giant killer cons. The cult master, Skeeter the Rave, has met with Essen but has demanded a test of our skills before they will consider an alliance. The heads of 25 units must be delivered to the men of the woods. You'll see us no more until then. Ballsy of him to make demands, but the cons have their share of scraps with mutants in the past. Let's do this. Get a good amount of manpower. The prior to living space. You know what? We're going to do that too. Stability is very important to us. Uh, but we did take all the territories from the Martial Republic, which is fantastic. And we're going to build up there, which is very, very good. And now we get an income of 24 every month, which is not terrible. It's not fantastic. But we're getting there. We're getting there. Um, can't really spend anything here. Which is fine, whatever. But we'll see. More stability would be nice, please. Uh, majorities. Friends of the followers. Elites. Gorgeous. Uh, we're not going to do that one. But matters of the new state. We'll go one at a time here. As much as I want to get rid of this stuff, um, I still want to get that core. Uh, the Wyoming gunsmiths. Weapon crafting is taken incredibly seriously by the Wyoming locals, so so much so that almost every weapon under the Baron's staging is in, in near mint condition. No doubt that his assets uh, will be uh, or serve us well in up upkeeping our own resources. Nice. Mm, we'll head down, we'll grab some of that. If that's the case, we're just going to start working. We're already working on that, which is fantastic. Travel stuff we can't do. Which is fine, whatever. Uh, scout kits. Oh, yeah. Gotta do this one too. That'd be great. What is this song? Her head's in the clouds. Well, that's different. Interesting. No more routes to come, unfortunately. Support, production. We close out of the new authority for now. And then, uh, lands of the giants no more. The fanatics have accepted Essen as a friend, though they are leery of the rest of us. Or if she makes plans to lead them um, to a final victory over the mutant ban. Their time is over. Amgalan and Essen stood a small overlook, staring down at the camps below. A morning breeze brushed against them cozily, the smell of morning dew bringing a smile to the old Khan's face. You think it is foolish, do you not? He asked Essen, holding his journal close to his heart. She grunted, they crave a strong hand, not a strong system, Amgalan. A strong hand can come from within just as much as without. We don't need a despot or a sole proge progenitor. 
as in the cons have grown too large for such simplicity. As in grovel to that for a moment, do you think they feel that way? Some do, some do not, but still they chose to listen to me here. We can forge an actual future for people. The sort of government that the West do, with the Baron gone well, we can afford some room to grow. Try not to break your own people and your hopes and followers, she said, taking a seat by him. His hand, his hand reached out to her, holding a small bit of jerky. For your health, she said with a hearty chuckle, and for joining us. Omglon's words stoked the fires within Essen's heart. Essen still knew that the cons would never be an NCR. Yeah, let's see what happens. A path earned. Oh, we have to do that. We get more cores. After much ado, we have learned the, the trust and collaboration of the peoples of the Irie. Our position has been solidified in Wyoming. Unchallenged, we need only bridge for the future to come. That would be great. Follower born, wall painter, good. Death class, oh, that's not good. Death class, eight some of our team. What the heck, man? Trade laws, caps income, trade deal opinion factor. Eventually, we won't need to trade for anything at all. Oh, we get more, there's more cores here, too. Look at that. Putting out a fire. A fighting is broken out in Riverton between some of our people and the locals. Samul has volunteered to crack some heads until it's over. Nice. You know what? I still want more compliance as much as possible. Um, motorized vehicles. Yeah, we need a lot of those. Actually, take is also very good, though. Ooh, Jackson and the roommate are killing each other, huh? Very nice. Very good. Salander's Ranch. The Salander's are a family that lived under the Baron for years. While they're not exactly peaches themselves, they're willing to work with us and have the hearts of many locals. It's good to know. The Grand Workshop, huh? Age of Prosperity. The Khan of the Khans. Followers of the future of the Great Khan return our eyes skyward. Oh. The marshals take a stand. Trouble rides on and high. Wyoming as the marshals open fire on deck collectors from the Baron's Irie. Uh, it's been quoted as saying, We will not be pushed around by the little guys who think they own the world. Locals responded by chuckling and saying, Sounds like him. The Baron refused to comment at this time. I wonder why. Interesting. Con foot runners. Then you got your motorized divisions here too. Because we're all about speed. I like speed. Not the drug, but speed in general. Yes. Good. We're getting some of that too. And more water, huh? Mm. As long as we can produce whatever we need, that's the most important thing. Island Watch, NCRs, killing stuff. Legion's killing stuff. No, yeah, well, not bad. Bath earned. Yeah. Level four notes. Manual prospectors. Help out settlements. Yes, please. That wouldn't be bad. Three more workshops, but I do want to do this one next. An uneasy friendship. The men of the wood have taken our aid as a form of divine blessing, pledging themselves to our cause in a whole, as a whole. And worrying, while worrying, they are many, and we still uncover more enclaves and caches of the supplies even months after our arrival. Their lands will be beneficial, if not uncomfortable. Oh, do we just get paid? Look at that. Grand Workshop. Well, we're going to do this one next. Oh, we actually have a dock here. Look at that. I don't think we have any navy, though. No, we do not, sir. No, we do not. It's a move. Uh, outriders. Probably a con for riders, yeah. Eyes going gray. I'm glad I've been teaching Essen to read. We know the two at free time. Some days we'd work out of the old books, borrowed from the followers, on others. I'm glad I want to carefully write out messages in the dirt or on old papers today. They moved along the old pre-war roads. Essen tasked with reading the signs left behind by the people of bygone times. 
She was having a difficult time, however, giving up often and asking the older kind to give her a hint or outright tell her what was written. At first, Amgalang took her struggling to be the result of wear and tear on the signs, but soon he suspected something more. Finally asked, Essen, how well can you see me? She hesitated, looking away. Before replying in a flat voice, you are blurry. You have always had been, but it's been getting worse. It was obvious how much it pained her to admit it. I'm glad I laid a gentle hand on her shoulder, resulting, reassuring her before saying, I will say nothing of this to the other cons if you wish my silence, but I would strongly suggest that we ask the followers for the aid. At the least, they may be able to slow it down. Essen gritted her teeth for a moment, irritated at the idea of asking for help from anyone. But in the end, she took a deep breath and responded evenly, Yeah, all right. All right. What else we got here? The white, white rabbit tail. You know, as long as mutants and madmen are fighting it out in a backyard, are people going to lack peace and safety? It needs to come in, come to an end, one way or another. North, south caravans. Looking very good. And of course, followers of the apocalypse. Yeah. Very good. An uneasy friendship. We could do that, but we don't need that one right now. Well, I guess we'll do this one. The Baron's daughter. Ezekiel Henry's. Who's Ezekiel Henry's? Regis. Oh, the Greek gods are walking right. Are we not? Are we not Wyoming? Oh, oh is it over in the sky? The armor. Whoops, a dangerous. Interesting. In building any form of society, you must be able to depend on yourself in order to serve the interests of both people and state. Our preemptive step to introduce larger reform will show our determination like never before. Time, little ahead of time, they're all ahead of time. We don't have a lot of technology, we're actually pretty bad on everything. Oof, terrible, I know. So we got that one done. Um, I do want vehicles. Profits from drug trades, I love drugs. Thing bat, wallock. What working good? Following the future, it's where the cons convince them to settle down. Oh wait, we're, oh whoops! It's where the cons form a new conate. Oh, I guess we're going, we're going over that way. Oh well, that was the old ways. Oh well, I kind of wanted to go the center route, but let's see what we got here still. Let's get an enemy construction tech. So the old ways. Whoops! Maybe I have to redo this then, because I did want to do. Because I don't. Have, uh, hmm. Let's see. Because they have motors here. Yeah, my bad. Uh, production. Oh, they still have motors. Well, that's up here, anyways. Salvage motorcycles. Where's the earth? Yeah. Oops, my bad. Uh, I guess we're going the wrong way. This is supposed to be old ways. My bad. Well then. True Conate leader, huh? Well then, hmm, we did this one before. Well, we'll do this one then. Huh. Go figure. Uh, a new con from under the Baron. A former goon under the Baron, Ezekiel Henry's, took to us and our authority fast, and so far, people are more than happy to work with him. The battle, which we read earlier, and the Baron's daughter. It turns out the Baron isn't as solid as we thought. The question in everyone's mind, however, is it does it run in the family, the con's warriors. The very heart of our tribe is a proud warrior culture. Their place in society must be respected, lest they grow unruly. Very true. Um, like I said, I want motorized for this one, so... We definitely go this one. Uh, the way of the earth. Cold steel bathed in warm blood, that's an image that's been relaying itself, replaying itself for thousands of years now. Even long after the destruction of humanity's greatest works, the need for metal makes itself known again. So we go the old ways. I guess we'll do our ancestors' ways. We come from a lineage of highwaymen. Uh, raiders. Through them, we have taken much... Knowledge of web maintenance and teachings of resourcefulness. Our ancestors' ways. We've come from a lineage of highwaymen, raiders. Through them, we've taken much knowledge of weapon maintenance, the teachings of resourcefulness, where the weapons came from. You can't make a living taking our weapons from external sources. We have to be able to make and maintain our own. They called us survivors throughout our long history. The cons have had one consistency we're survivors. We picked up knowledge as we needed and adapted it to our surroundings. The like chemtrail. Chems are part of the Khan lifestyle. We just can't instruct them. They're a foundation of our tribe. Amgalan and his cronies can't force the great Khans to do anything. 
and embracing Kim's improper. Kim's and the sales of such are how we've always done things. We're not stopping just because someone asked us to nicely knock us knock it off. So we basically replay this. Um, we're doing all right. We got one enough political power every day. Fifteen divisions, and honestly, I want to go to war with the Glow's Cradle. So we're getting ready to go to war with them. Got two hundred days left, unfortunately, though. It is what it is. We're trying to improve our stability still. Hmm. Great guns are Wyoming. I kind of want to wait to see what happens with that stuff. Graphically simple. Infantry division attack and defense goes up. Stability. Uh, but you want to break through here in speed, I think. Still very good. And we'll probably have to use him because to do this guy, we have to have him not as a leader. Which we probably will have him as a leader eventually because this is. Essen. So, and this is Regis. So. We might as well go with Essen now. Aggressively, aggressively simple. Nice. And we had to do all that stuff because, uh, well, uh, because we had to get through, get more support for old ways. In building any form of society, you must be able to depend on yourself in order to serve the interests of both the people and state. Our preemptive step to introduce large reform will show our determination like never before. Absolutely. And as we're doing that too, we got some things we got to redo. So substantial uh, old ways are the way we really want to go for now. Militarized stuff. Oh, we have a Gek as well. This place, not very well developed. Lost Cabin. Scavengers found some electronics. Um, the dust. Lost Cabin. You know what? Let's do the Lost Cabin. Get seven building slots, two building slots, two civic workshops, three infrastructure, eight uh, electricity and eight water, and a bonus for construction and agriculture. Fantastic. Be on some planes, got plenty of bikes. It's not to love. So then, we gotta wait for this. I must win the support. So we read about uneasy friendship earlier. So when do we do that for the Khan Authority? Control of the Northern Khans is tumultuous and uncertain. Within a few years, the situation will change and there will be an opportunity to set on one path for the future. If someone's support is at least substantial, then when the time comes, I'll have a chance of leadership. Only time will tell who will lead the rest of the cons to the future here in Wyoming. I couldn't tell you. I have no clue. As you can probably tell, I have literally no clue. We'll do that, and we'll do that too, because we like to make some uh, special forces eventually. That'd be very nice. Chief of the Force Dreamer. Air range and agility. You don't always get both of those. So it's nice to grab them both. Uh, it's a little ahead of time, a little ahead of time. Nah, screw it, why not? So there'll come a time when we can choose. Which would be nice. So we can close out of that for now. Um, moving into Ralston, like we read earlier, too, would be nice. Nice, nice. Uh, I just want to go to war. 17 is not bad, but still. They did get that one thing we did want done there. So let's go build an air strip so we can start working on air superiority. That would be ideal. And grind some more army XP so that we can at least work on our army XP. And what out? Um, can we promote this node yet? No, we cannot. Field fortification. It's good at getting a lot of stuff done. More coordination. Good. Um, so with here, you get negative four uh, max entrenchment, which kind of sucks. Makes sense. Don't get me wrong. This is plus eight. So you really get, you do benefit overall, but it's not a huge benefit. Um, I'm going to wait for that because we are on... Well... Very rudimentary uh, technologies. <clears throat> Got that one as well. I guess there are these two, but what's over here? Agriculture. Of course, I do want this one too. Lone Wanderers. Wyoming's large, beautiful land. Some of our conate think it is too large. These are the same crafty individuals that have begun restoring motorcycles from old automotive production facilities. Perhaps it's a start, start of something new, maybe? That'd be great. Wouldn't mind H and H Tool Company. More construction speed, better industry technology, research speed. Um, robots are nice, but we're definitely not a robot nation. This would be bad. Stat security solutions. Poseidon Energy, electronics concern. Uh, it's not bad, but still. Medical dome, research, air, air again, recon. Planes are nice, but really, that makes the most sense to me right now. Yeah. 
Lone Wanderers. Go on that salvage motorcycles. A mobile assault weaponry. Mobile assault weaponry. Would be very nice. Civvy would be good. We do that one. There's an old power plant hooked up to a nearby fence. Factory. Uh, Jay's report's right. It won't take too much elbow grease to get it back up and running. The city hand of Umgalon. Umgalon's knowledge of nature and his diplomatic nature have allowed us to work alongside farmers in northern Wyoming. And Ralston construction projects. Facilitating growth within Ralston will be mutually beneficial for the locals in our own endeavors in the region. Let's be clear what we can and see what happens. Or let's clear what we can. Nice. Good stuff. These guys aren't great. They're all right. Con Outfitters. This was a lesser con group, but we don't really need. Lone Wanderers. Very nice. Very good. Salvage Motorcycles. Fantastic. Uh, let's go with that one. Why not? Oh, it's Unit Leader, not Advisor. No. Um, hmm. So we got Salvage Motorcycles. We got Motorization. Oh, and we also have Mobile Assault Weaponry. Okay. And it was motorized fire teams. Okay, that's interesting. I don't realize that. Good to know. Stability, yes, please. Tool procurement, intermediate industry tech, which is good. Bikers of the modern world is also very good. Opening auto shops. Get free uh, tire profile. That's well, not really free, but you know what I mean. Probably, hopefully. Uh, I should grab this one too, why not? Yes, please. You guys have any armor? No. Ah. So we do that. Need more planes. Salvage motorcycle. They do have armor on those. An evening at peace. As Eagle sat his cars down, took a swig of his old Roman, still listened to the other pl players' conversations. <coughs> To his left, that Ranger J, a fellow Cyclops and one of the clowns who taken an early shot in Zico as they bonded over mutual love for games of chance. On the right was Justine Walker. Back from a trip to follow HQ to discuss more rape for the Baron's former subjects, he didn't know her all that well, but he had noticed she had always seemed relieved to get back to the Khan's camps. Or maybe just to get back to Amgalon. He wondered for a moment, thinking about how her gaze tended to wander towards the Placid Chief at all times. Amgalon himself filled the last share across from Ezekiel as serene as ever despite how badly he was losing. They've been discussing the restlessness of the other cons, of Essence constant and reliable counseling and preparation for the further conflict, of troubling scout reports emanating from the south and the holes forming in Jay's boots. Ezekiel, I stayed quiet through most of it, both due to his inclination to listen more than speak and his limited experience among the cons as of yet. He was, after all, so green as far as being counted as one of them. Now, however, Amgalon looked different, directly across the table through the haze of the cigarette smoke in Ezekiel's remaining eye and asked, What would you say, Zeke, were another of your new brothers or sisters to ask? You, what we should strive for, whether it be peace of war, friends or subjects, swords or plowshares. The others all looked at Ezekiel now and waited patiently as he finished the last of his drink before answering. I'd say that I reckon they'll both is my answer. Ezekiel continued uh, as Justine frowned uh, gently. Jay nodded lightly and Amgalon reacted not at all. Now, like what I want y'all to do, boss, ain't nothing right about fixing for a new fighter trying to pick on weak folks. You know, I would have stood by the Baron if I thought otherwise. Sometimes trouble comes your way if and you invite it or not, though, and I don't think I'll be burning my six shooters beyond the outhouse anytime soon. As Eagle tossed three cards aside and drew one new ones, as Amgalon responded, a smile ran across the older man's face. Respectable words, my friend, not unlike those I would have said years ago as I walked alongside the followers of this wide open land. May whatever trouble we meet be met with as little blush as we can manage, however. The chief laid down his cards as Jay did as Justine did, too. I got a couple more words, wise words for y'all, Ezekiel said, laying his cards across the table. Full house. Oh, look at that. So, can I actually win here? That's a real question. Maybe, maybe not. If you have enough men in there, it should be okay, right? I love chems. Still working on it, working on it. Dynamite, yes, please. Hmm. 
Mobile enforcers would be nice. That gives you quite a bit more armor, actually, which is really actually kind of awesome. I'm going to keep it at one more, though, for now. You know what? Don't bomb him. It's not going to do very much, but it might do something here. The daughter's Baron. The Baron's daughter. Still can't go to a well equipped army, unfortunately. Scavenger's Triumph, nice. Promise the loot ain't bad. Now, if this doesn't go our way, we're going to rethink this. The March of Papa Khan. While well, Amgalan's fire is cooled and settled, the man who came to be known as Papa Khan took his great cons to the Mojave with a fire in his heart. Good, we got in there just in time. Good. The Baron's daughter. Amgalan stepped into the old Casper jail, home to once a number of largely innocent but unlucky folks now playing host to only a handful of people who had been part of the war against the Khans. Members of Zack Company's leadership, a few of the worst of the Baron's slugs, and Annette Bailey. And when the flames consumed the Bailey home and the Baron himself, his daughter had surrendered to Amgalan and the rest of the Khan's forces. A few had called for her to be killed on the spot, blaming her for the bloodshed, but the old chief had refused. She spent the days since in prison while the Khans had come to grips with the situation, but now the guards have passed on a request from her to meet with Amgalan. Once it arrived, she wasted a little time making a proposal, standing at the bars with a charming smile across her face. Good morning, Amgalan. I've been looking forward to meeting you in less violent conditions. You've got fair enough reason to hold me here. I am the child of your enemy after all, but I want you to know that I can do a lot more for you given my freedom. I know the families of the Irie better than anyone. Their strength and even their weaknesses. And I can encourage a cooperation with you. She stared at the old con's face before adding, Why, with my help, peace and prosperity will return quicker. And isn't that what we all want? And that punctuated with all another smile. And then Amgulans granted, granted silently that her words and voice were charming enough. What he wouldn't credit yet was her sincerity. After a pause to think, he responded, I'll tell you my answer tomorrow. Now it's tomorrow. Later that day, Amgalan called back to his tent Ezekiel, the former agent of the Baron, who has been in prison for his opposition to the war against the Khans. The two men had met when the old Khan released most of the prisoners in Casper Prison and quickly built a uh, report in the day since. Ezekiel had been Amgalan's best source of information about the Irene's people, and once again, asked. once again he was hoping Ezekiel could provide him enough to make a good decision about whether to accept Annette Bailey's offer of help. You know her better than anyone else, I suspect, and I value your opinion. What should be done with this young woman? The other man lit a cigarette, and thought for a moment before answering, smart as smooth, probably the lever in itself, I'm honest with you, boss. I don't want to throw my wool, throw any wool over your eyes, and Annie's a sneaky one and has a bit of a mean streak to her. She's also smart as a whip, though, knows everything about the Irie, knows the war's over. She can do what she says, Ezekiel removed his hat, drove the back of his head, and addressed, and added a bit of a lower voice. I'm also plum, plum fond of her boss, and I'm more than willing to help keep her penned in and behave if you give her a chance. I was playing the late out answer, and Amgalan was confident Ezekiel was no liar. It was time to make a decision. She's too dangerous. She'll get a chance. A Bailey collaborator. Compliance growth speed. I like that growth speed. <clears throat> She's too dangerous, though. So. The lessons of Darion. Darion was one of the most notorious cons of the old days. Taking lessons from his folly, whether it be ill or not, has become a commonality. Start working these guys. So they can't move. I know we're losing a lot of guys this way, but what else are we going to do here? Reclamation depots aboard them too, huh? Interesting. Ah, oh, good. You know what? Screw it. You're gonna hold here.
special forces lead the way. That's gonna do a lot of damage? No. Got to be something. Hmm. Remember Darien. Darien, Garth, Garl, Dethan. <clears throat> we all know the legends. We all remember the tales. The story is always the same. Failed cons of some of us, including Amglon, lived through some of them. For him, the change ruled and made him seek a life of peace for his people. Darren is fair to the young Amgalon towards Heart and Two for a second time. His people have been devastated by a single person, a supposed chosen one, no less. When they tried to run the NCR, would catch him, and when they hid, our own would turn against each other over things such as basic as the chems. Garl's aggression destroyed the first cons. Darren's paranoia mainly destroyed the new. Amglon wouldn't let either be the death of his. He just had to hope that his people's hearts were aligned with him. Can the cons know peace? And the cons warriors? The very heart of a tribe is a proud warrior culture. Their place in society must be respect regularly respected, lest they grow unruly. So. That's the case, you know what? Hmm. Ranger, huh? Rad Apprentice. For now, we're gonna do it like this. And. Motorized. Guard rate would be good. Gun nut. Motorized fire team. Motorized enforcers. Motorized attack. Yeah. That foot's the one we'd like the most. Oh, I forgot. Completely the butterfly fire. Ah, look up armature, why not? Mm. Let him cook. Well, since we're down here, anyways. Jeep equipment. Infantry equipment. I like the soft attack. Breakthrough's pretty good. The smiths. Melee weaponry, though. Docks, Jinsky. Hmm. Outside of batons are always good too. Living standards. Where have you left? I'm like really left. Slim attacks. Let's see what happens. Even out the score just a little bit, you see. Let them start racking up the casualties. Khan's War is very nice. With the earth. Ah. Gold seal bathed the more blood, which were ever before. New workshops? Well, how about wheeled steeds? Our ancestors rode from Zana Xanadu to Kiev on the mountains of flesh and blood. We'll ride from Mariposa to New York on mountains of steel and oil. Need more guns, don't we? Well, let's go buy some. Can we buy some? No, we cannot. Okay, never mind. Well, we need to go build some more then. Right there, they're nice. Uh, I wouldn't mind mobile enforcers. But it does lower your speed. What is infantry? Throw another one on. And then we're also going to throw on motorized medical camp support. Yeah, that'd be good to do. Uh, yeah. Yeah, they're increasing their casualties, which is fantastic to see.
Then what? Uh, hell on two wells. The thunder motor rings out over the plains once more, and it heralds worse than lightning. When the cons ride, others fall. New workshops. Tribalist. A cottage industry will serve you well, provided you're satisfied producing a gun every week or so. No. Many hands means the need for many weapons, and only dedicated workshops will be able to say such a need. As Butler sees ours are. It's good for XP. Wave War Chief? Sure, why not? Oh, well, Pimmer actually good. New workshops are good too. See what we got here. It's nice. Saws, yes. Maybe they'll stop attacking. They got closer to us. Oh, nope, they have now stopped attacking. Workspaces are good. Keep attacking, I'm okay with that. It's very nice. Uh, push it forward. Destroying vehicles does not come easy. Taking measures to prepare a greater industrial platform will allow our bikers to get on the go quicker. And we're going to go with, as much as I want war, political power, we're going to go with war support. Uh, let's see. Clear in Bighorn Lake. To our east, Bighorn Lake lies infested with raiders. They built themselves a small fort so that we can repurpose for further operations should we choose to pursue it. Ooh. Asymmetric okay, warfare, land doctrine. The one on the left is the one we definitely want to go with. Coordination, though, that seems pretty good. This is it. Oh, this is old ways, though. We should probably go the old ways. Right? Range away, Jay's experience, clad in steel. Yeah, no, this way makes more sense for us. When do we arrive in Wyoming? Oh. Good. Make us bigger and stronger. Uh, what is this? Anti air weapon research speed and. Infantry equipment, artisan, artisans, more organization, more organization, intermediate infantry tech, it's not bad, uh, or a bonus to land doctrine. A constant threat to wave of life across the years with civilization, our greatest foe being the NCR. In order, in, avoid, in avoiding their growing power, we had to learn many tricks to survive. I like the bonus land doctrine the most. So we're going to do that one. Cool. And what once was home. Vault 15 was home to once home to our ancestors and many others, including some of our worst enemies. There is humility in organization and origining. Uh, they call them rangers. Jay had much to show us and we had much to learn. The rangers were proficient warriors of the modern world. We had their had we their discipline in times gone by, maybe things would have been different. Uh, Austin construction programs. Facilitating growth within Ross will be mutually beneficial for the locals in our own endeavors in the region. Let's see what we can do and uh, see what happens. City hand of uh, Amgalan. Amgalan's knowledge of nature and his diplomatic nature have allowed us to work alongside farmers in northern Virginia, Virginia, uh, uh, Wyoming, uh, pushing Rawson forwards. Clearing the way is one thing, but we ought to make sure we ought to know what we're doing first. Let's the boys get crack and see what they can come up with. Nuka Cola bottling plant. Fate is on our side after all. I know Nuka Cola plant out in the countryside had a immense stockpile within it, like a treasure we simply stumbled upon. There's plenty of scrap in Nuka Cola to go around. Tribal drills. An action causes decay. True for the muscles, true for the mind. Only with regular drilling will our warriors keep be kept in peak condition. And uh, weapons are a unique kind of product. Let's bear between life and death. Being dispassionate about the crap won't just make people upset. It'll get them killed. So out with the laser smiths and in with the driven ones. So I think I'm at it there. We're at a little crossroads here with a glowing crater, but it is what it is. If you enjoyed the video, though, please consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I will see you tomorrow. 
Let's see what else we can do with the Northern Cons. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.